Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the XY-MDO2 Temperature Humidity Serial UART Communication. To get started with the XY-MDO2 Temperature and Humidity Sensor, we will be using the program PuTTY for serial communication. We will use RS-485 serial communication to establish a connection and show how to read the values and parameters of the XY-MDO2 sensor effectively. Additionally, we will explore the automatic polling feature. This allows for continuous monitoring of the sensor's data. PuTTY is a versatile tool for connecting the computer and the XY-MDO2 sensor. By utilizing RS-485 communication, we can effectively retrieve temperature and humidity readings from the sensor. Setting up PuTTY on a Windows 11 64-bit computer, ensuring a seamless connection to the XY-MDO2 sensor will be demonstrated. These step-by-step -step instructions on how to read the temperature and humidity values from the XY-MDO2 sensor are critical in understanding the serial UART communication. This one-to-one -one communication will enable you to accurately monitor the environmental conditions in your desired setting. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Hardware? Setting up the necessary hardware components is essential to ensure the proper functionality of your XY-MDO2 temperature and humidity sensor. This sensor will require a 24 volt power supply to operate effectively. A USB to RS-485 converter will establish a communication between the computer and the sensor. The 24 volt power supply is critical for providing the necessary power to the XY-MDO2. This ensures the sensor can accurately measure temperature and humidity levels in the desired environment. It is essential to ensure the power supply is compatible with the sensor's requirement to avoid potential issues. To establish a connection between the computer and the XY-MDO2 sensor, a USB to RS-485 converter is utilized. This converter allows for seamless serial communication between the two devices. Data can be transmitted and received effectively by connecting the connector to the computer's USB port and the sensor's RS-485 port. The USB to RS-485 converter acts as a bridge enabling the computer to communicate with the XY-MDO2 sensor. This hardware component is essential for reading the temperature and humidity values and accessing the computer's parameters. By ensuring the proper setup of the hardware components, you can install PuTTY and the subsequent steps required for reading temperature and humidity values of the XY-MDO2 sensor. The WaveShare USB to RS-485 installation instructions are covered by the following post. This driver will assign a communication port or COM port. Using the device manager in Windows, you can see the serial communication port assigned to the USB to RS-485 converter. There are a few different ways to get to Device Manager in Windows 11. Right click the Start button or press the Windows Logo plus X key combination on the keyboard and from the list click Device Manager. You can also search for Device Manager on the search bar. Installing PuTTY on a Windows 11 64-bit computer. The following steps will install PuTTY on a Windows 11 64-bit computer. First visit the official PuTTY website. Select Download PuTTY. The Windows installer packages will be displayed first. We will download the executable file only, so software installation will not be required. Scroll down and look for the alternative binary files. We will select the executable file that matches our hardware under the SSH or Secure Shell and Telnet client. To check your system hardware using Windows 11, do the following. Open Settings on the Windows 11, click on System, click the About tab, and then check the hardware specs under the Device Specifications section. Select the PuTTY.exe next to the 64-bit x86. This will download the program file for our hardware. Further down the PuTTY website page, you will see the documentation. You can download the actual file or read this online using the HTML contents page. Open a window showing you the PuTTY executable file you download. Double click on the file to start the PuTTY program. Once PuTTY is open, 
you can configure the necessary settings to establish a connection with the XY-MDO2 temperature and humidity sensor. By installing PuTTY on your Windows 11 64-bit computer, you will have the necessary software to communicate with the XY-MDO2 sensor and retrieve temperature and humidity data. This step is critical for the subsequent steps in reading the parameters and automatically pulling the sensor using PuTTY. Reading the temperature and humidity of the XY-MDO2. To read the temperature and humidity of the XY-MDO2 sensor, you will need to establish a connection using PuTTY. Follow the following steps. Number one, connect the USB to RS-45 converter to your computer's USB port. Make a note of the serial communication or COM port that is being utilized. In our case, this is COM3 looking at the device manager. Connect the RS-485 converter to the XY-MDO2 sensor using a two-wire cable. Number three, open PuTTY and go to the serial category under the connect section. Select the appropriate COM port for the RS-485 converter. In our case, this is COM3. Set the baud rate to 9600, data bits to eight, stop bits to one, and parity to none. These are the default settings for the XY-MDO2 sensor. Select Terminal. Ensure that the implicit CR or carriage return in every line feed or LF and implicit line feed in every carriage return are selected. Select Force On for both of these local echo and local line editing. Select Session. Under the Connection tab, select Serial. Enter a name to keep these session parameters. Select Save to store these settings for later use. Click the Open button to establish the connection. Once the connection is established, you can start reading the temperature and humidity data from the XY-MDO2 sensor. Here is a list of commands available for the sensor. Send the read through PuTTY and the sensor will respond with the current temperature and humidity values. Note that the command must be all in capital letters. By following these steps, you can successfully read the temperature and humidity of the XY-MDO2 sensor using PuTTY. This information can be valuable for various applications that require monitoring and controlling environmental conditions. Reading the parameters of the XY-MDO2. To fully utilize the XY-MDO2 sensor, it is essential to understand how to read its parameters. By accessing the temperature's parameters, you can gather additional information about its configuration and customize its behavior to suit your needs. To read the parameters of the XY-MDO2, you can continue using PuTTY, the serial communication software. Once you have established a connection with the sensor, as described previously, you can use the following commands. P-A-R-A-M or PRAM will read the current set values and return the temperature calibration, humidity calibration, baud rate, report rate, and the Modbus slave address. The parameters of the XY-MDO2 help you understand its settings and capabilities. This knowledge allows you to fine-tune the sensor's behavior and integrate it effectively into your projects. Since this is a one-to-one -one serial communication, the Modbus slave address can be read without using the Modbus protocol. Automatic polling XY-MDO2 using PuTTY. You can utilize automatic polling to automate the process of reading temperature and humidity data from the XY-MDO2 sensor. You can continuously retrieve real-time measurements by automatically polling without requiring manual input. To set up the automatic polling rate, use the following HZ or Hertz command. This command is a little confusing from the chart above. Here are the following command settings and the corresponding update times. So HZ1 is one reading every second. HZ0.5 is one reading every 0.5 seconds or half second. HZ2, one reading every two seconds. HZ Five is one reading every five seconds, and HZ10 is one reading every 10 seconds. 
Open PuTTY and connect to the XY-MDO2 sensor, again like we did previously. Enter the command HZ colon 5. This will set up the automatic polling once every 5 seconds. Enter the command AUTO. This will start the temperature and humidity automatic reporting function of the XY-MDO2. Enter the command STOP. This will stop the automatic reporting function. If the frequency of the automatic polling is too quick to type STOP into PuTTY, cycling power to the sensor will also stop the polling. This means that you must always start with the AUTO again to start the polling happening once again. By setting up automatic polling, you can continuously monitor the temperature and humidity readings from the XY-MDO2 sensor without manual intervention. This is particularly useful in applications where real-time data is critical, such as environmental monitoring or process control. With PuTTY's automated capabilities and the XY-MDO2 sensor, you have a powerful combination for seamless data acquisition and monitoring. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.